Hi, I'm Jeremiah with Blackheart Gear, and today we're going to custom fit your Blackheart Bypass cocking device to your individual crossbow. I'll be using an Excalibur Micro today to demonstrate, and let's go ahead and get started with you. When you initially open up your Blackheart Bypass cocking device, you're going to want to follow the instructions which is, are included on the interior of the box. These instructions are going to walk you through step by step, and I'll give you a visual demonstration here today. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the yoke and place this around the manufacturer's recommended anchor point. In the case for this Excalibur Micro, that's going to be right here at the back of the riser uh, on the top of the stock, right here. We're going to go ahead, we're going to place the yoke around the anchor point, and you're also going to want to make sure that the bottom hooks, where they're identified as left and right, are actually on the right side of the bow. In this case here, this one says R, so this is not in the proper spot. So I'm actually going to pick the device up, flip it around, and make sure that the R and the L are properly aligned on each side of the bow. Once you've determined that they're properly aligned, you're going to go ahead and clip it onto the string. You will notice that there is an excess amount of rope between the handle and the pulley. In this case here, we need to customize this bow to fit the cocking device exactly. So what we're going to do is this is going to be repeated on each side. First of all, we're going to take the anchor knot, which is located on the inside of the crossbow. You're going to take, you may need some pliers to go ahead, grab that knot, and actually pull the anchor knot out. Once you've done that, you will notice that the handle actually slides up in towards the, the pulley. Once the handle is close to the pulley, that is where we are now going to retie the anchor knot, right here. What you then are going to do is you're going to actually use a simple overhand knot. And in this case, I'm actually going to do a double overhand knot. We're going to repeat the same exact step for the other side of the bow, pulling the anchor knot out so that the handle then continues to slide closer to the pulley at the base. All the while, we want to continue to ensure that the yoke at the back is centered around the anchor point. Once this is complete, we're going to go ahead and tie another double overhand knot. At this point in time, once you've confirmed that the yoke is centered around the anchor point, that each pulley is centered properly, we're going to go ahead and actually cut the excess off of the string. Now, it's personal preference once you've cut the excess rope off. If you would like to leave an additional tag end, that's completely fine. Or if you'd like to perhaps burn the edges off to remove the fringe of the rope, that's completely fine as well. That's going to be personal preference. Once you now have established the properly sized rope, you'll notice that the handles are actually right down here near the base where the pulleys. This is the proper position to start from cocking your bow. At this point in time, we're also going to want to step back and now that we've properly sized it and identify where are the pulleys here on either side of the yoke, where are they impacting the stock of your crossbow. This is why we've included the crossbow stock cushioning pads. Once you've identified where the pulleys are hitting the crossbow, you're actually going to remove the adhesive layer on the back and go ahead and stick it down and that will ensure continued function of your crossbow stock. Next step you have to do is actually proceeding to cock your crossbow. First thing you're going to want to do is ensure that the hooks are properly attached to the string at the bottom. In this case they are. However, you will notice that the string and the cocking rope on either side is actually twisted. It's not straight. So what I'm going to want to do is remove the hook from the string and actually untangle to make sure I'm getting a straight, straight string. Now we move back up to the yoke. At this point here, we are going to ensure that the yoke is properly centered around the anchor point. 
Additionally, we're gonna make sure that the pulley orientation is actually facing what we call out. If the pulley is facing like this, that is incorrect. What we want to make sure that happens is that the pulley actually faces down like this throughout the continuous pull while cocking the crossbow. Ensure that the clips are in fully and we will now proceed in keeping constant pressure on the crossbow, proceed to cock it. And there you have it. Now you want to proceed to safely remove from the crossbow. I'm Jeremiah with Blackheart Gear, and for more informational videos like this, check out blackheartgear.com.